Welcome to part four of the Sci-Fi Styrene Addiction UK Community Bladder Cancer Awareness Group Build. Uh, still a bit of a mouthful to say, but hey ho, never mind. Um, made some pretty good progress actually on the kit now. Uh, the cabin uh, and engine bay areas are actually now glued down onto the chassis. We have had a little bit of an upside daisy uh, with one of the clamps uh, when I was gluing this down. Uh, if I just uh, zoom in the camera, you'll be able to see uh, exactly what I'm talking about. So there we go. Whoop, that was too far, too far. There we go. Okay, so basically what's happened is um, on the front of the vehicle, I put two clamps on just to help keep everything in place uh, whilst it was gluing and to uh, basically help the glue set. Now, the idea was that because um, I'm using this type of clamp, um, I didn't just really want to put that on uh, that plastic or, or the paintwork just in case it got the paintwork got damaged. Um, so I used just a, a little bit of tissue like this really um, to sort of put between the clamps. Whoop, kind of like that really um, and then stuck that onto the body and I stuck one on this side and I stuck one on that side uh, this side uh, not one little spot of damage uh, on this side that happened uh, not sure how not sure why a uh, bit frustrating really to be quite honest uh, problem is now the cars completely built I'm not going to be able to go in and rescue that um, so, you know, it's it's damaged, but the good thing is, uh, by the time we get the front balance on, uh, that goes kind of there-ish, um, you're not really going to see it. And then plus the fact we've also got the air filter as well, that kind of goes over to that area, like so-ish. Um, so let me just uh, unzoom that a little bit, or pan out, should I say, really. Um, unzoom. Um, so yeah, you've got the air filter that that goes there. He is. Uh, that's a bit tricky to to sort of uh, hold in place at the same time. Um, and then you've got the front valance there. So really, you're not going to see that. Um, and it's as I say, it's just going to be a bit too difficult to actually sort of try and repair that now. Uh, so I just. Uh, kind of leave that as is I think I don't think it's gonna it's not gonna really take anything away from the model really to be fair um, so that's that bit done um, I'll bring the balance back out again actually because uh, that's completely finished now so that's uh, basically had the uh, the water bottles uh, well <laughs> fluid bottles really uh, painted that's taken four coats actually uh, to get them that color uh, the caps have also had uh, three coats of yellow paint on there and then I've got the decals put on there now so we've got the two decals on each bottle and then we've also got the one decal uh, that goes on the front balance there as well uh, so that's looking quite good I'm happy with that and as you saw the um, air filter there is done so I'm really happy with the way that that's done um, progressing quite nicely with that let me just uh, move that out of the way the other thing that we have been working on is the main body of the car. Let me just uh, pan out a bit more. There we go. Um, so that's what the car's looking like at the moment. We have used the Alclad uh, grey primer uh, on this. Uh, and we followed that up with the uh, bright silver candy base. Uh, you're not really going to see the candy bit because it's hiding under the paint. Uh, this is actually really good. It kind of comes out as a sort of semi-gloss, really. Actually, the finish to this, um, but this is uh, this is really good. It looks really nice. I mean, it actually looks really nice silver, really, to be fair. But it is going to have the purple on it because uh, we do need the three colours for the uh, awareness there. Now, one of the weird thing is actually is on the um, bright silver candy base. It does say not to use uh, a primer. 
uh, which is a bit weird actually to be quite honest um, I would have never really thought of putting this directly onto a a clear you know a um, an untreated uh, surface uh, but I did put the um, primer down the reason why I've done that is because I do need to do quite a bit of masking on this now um, because I've got the uh, the Shelby stripes to go over the top and also down the side there as well uh, and then plus the fact uh, all of these little bits down here and down the side and the back need to be painted in semi-gloss black as well um, so I just thought because I've got to do some masking I'd rather sort of not take any chances really with it and, and use the um, the primer. I also slightly scuffed the surface as well with a, a, a 1200 grit sandpaper uh, just to take the shine off the paintwork and and, and, and to help key it basically um, for the primer. Uh, the other things I've done is I've got the door handle in place there and also on the other side we've also got the spoiler put on now as well um, ready for the candy enamels to go on. Uh, that's this one here that I'm going to be using. Uh, so that's the um, candy violet enamel. Um, once that's on I'm going to have to leave it for a good week or so really before I can then start masking off to get the um, get the uh, the Shelby stripes on and again with that I will be using the uh, the Pal Gold uh, which is that one just there and that's again that's an L clad um, that will um, tie in with the engine and the door mirrors uh, and the brake discs as well uh, and a couple of other bits and pieces uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. I'm happy with the progress on this. Uh, so I'm going to start getting that sprayed down with the candy enamel tomorrow. So as soon as uh, I've uh, got an update for you on that, I will come back to you. Been working on the uh, the Mustang some more, and I got the uh, the primary colour down, and it was actually starting to look really good, as you can see. Um, we got a really good shade of purple on there. Um, but that's kind of about where it ends actually to be fair um, we've had a little bit of an issue and I don't know how the hell this has happened but um, I've managed to knock the car somehow and it's gashed the side of the paintwork now unfortunately uh, with the type of paint that I'm using I can't repair that uh, because this paint is kind of like semi-transparent, it goes over a, a silver base, pretty much all like that there, as you can see, um, and that kind of enables it to shine through a bit and also change the colour uh, of the candy paint as well, depending on what type of surface it's hitting. So on some areas of the car, it'll look darker, and in some areas, it'll look lighter. Now, the thing is with that is that it does need uh, a uniform coat of paint across the whole surface of the car for that to work. Now the thing is when it comes to uh, little issues like this one that we've got here, if I try and repair that, that's going to show up lighter then than the rest of the area on the car. Uh, so the only way that I can get around that now is to actually sand the whole car down and respray it. So we're kind of a little bit behind schedule well we're not behind schedule because we've got until the end of june um but you know we are unfortunately having to take a backward step on this build now um which you know these things happen um i mean it's not a big issue really to be fair but you know it's just a bit of a bummer after you're getting a nice coat of paint on there and you're looking forward to finishing it off for that to happen it's a bit of a pain in the bum but never mind, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this car sanded down now, get it cleaned off again, get it remasked, um, and then start respraying it. So as soon as I've caught up with um, where I was before, I will come back to you. Okay, so got over the, uh, the little oopsie daisy uh, that we had with the paint on this kit. Um, and as you can see, it's all nice and purple again. 
so I'm kind of really happy with that. Uh, you can see to some point the light changing the colour of the candy apple, uh, not the candy apple, sorry, uh, the enamel candy uh, paint by Alclad, uh, which is quite a cool effect actually, because I just sit here looking at this. I've got a lot of dust on this at the moment as well, so uh, please do forgive the, uh, the dust on it. Um, I mean, it's all dry, it just needs a quick wipe down just to get rid of the dust. Um, but it's actually looking quite good and as I say the the light you can see there bouncing off of some of the surfaces does actually uh, change the color of the surface which is absolutely great I love that uh, so you, you can actually sit here and look at this model and in some lights you know you, you've got sort of like on the edges of the wing here you've got a really nice sort of light color and then towards sort of like the back end it starts to darken off a bit so I love the effect that the uh, this this uh, candy based paint has actually given you there uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with that now that's actually sorted out just need to wait for this to dry completely before I do the uh, the stripes in the in the gold in the pale gold color so I'm going to leave that for at least a week before I even dare put some masking tape on that. So it's just going to sit on the side and gather some more dust. Uh, but uh, that's okay, it's no problem. I can always just quickly dust it down before I do it. Um, and the hood, or bonnet if you're in the UK, uh, looks like that. So that's really good too. I'm liking the way that that's actually turned out. Um, so yeah, I will um, come back to you as soon as I've got the, uh, the stripes laid down. Uh, with the progress I've made on this kit now we've got the stripes down uh, the ones that go all the way over anyway I haven't got the ones on the side done yet that's uh, that's the next job uh, but she's not looking too bad I do like the way that gold looks on the body of the car with that purple uh, I think it just really does set that off it's taken believe it or not about an hour and a half to tape off those lines um, the hardest part really was trying to find the center line all the way down the body to make sure it was pretty much all straight uh, and then after that it was pretty much really easy going to get the 18 mil uh, width on the the, uh, the paint just just took a little bit of time that was all nothing serious but yeah that's uh, what she's uh, looking like from the top view so that's pretty fantastic and then if we just uh, flip her around again you can see her from the back end one thing I would caution uh, people with is this uh, Alclad paint. I've actually found, to be quite honest, it is fairly delicate. So um, I try and keep any sort of tools that could scratch it away from it or any surfaces that could scratch it as well um, until such time that you can get a clear coat on it. Uh, but uh, it's, as I say, it's just a little bit fragile before it's had a clear coat. Uh, but I've got the. Uh, the little grills uh, for this so what I'll do is I'll just quickly get those in so you can actually see what this is going to look like with the grills in uh, and uh, hopefully it's going to look pretty good let's have a look Oop. there we go so that's what that's going to look like with the grills in place now so that's pretty good and then uh, if we uh, get one of the little wing mirrors out as well be able to see what the wing mirrors look like as again these have been done uh, in the gold let's see if that will actually stay in I don't think it's going to stay in well there you go that's kind of in it's not sort of properly in but yeah that's what that's starting to look like uh, on the side of the kit there so yeah, it's going to look pretty pretty awesome when it's uh, when it's all finished. I think I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I think it's getting a bit long in the tooth. I think. Um, so I will catch up with you in part five, where hopefully we should be able to get all of the mods done to. Oh, sorry, all of the uh, rest of the paintwork done to this kit. Uh, so thanks for watching, and please do take care.